Hi guys, welcome to Jamaican chapter. Today I will take you to the resting place of Jamaican reggae, dancehall and lovers rock artist Frankie Paul. Frankie Paul's music career started in the 1980s and between the 1980s and say 2011 he had recorded numerous songs and had released over 50 albums so let's take a walk to the resting place of this legendary Jamaican Frankie Paul So, as I've said, he had recorded numerous songs, released over 50 albums. This means that everybody, everybody, supposed to have heard one of, even one of Frankie Paul's songs. What's your favorite song? What's your favorite Frankie Paul song? Well, I have several favorite Frankie Paul songs. And as I walk to his grave, I'll tell you more, as I said. So, my favorite Fra Fra Frankie Paul songs are I Know The Score. I know the score. I know the score. Baby, I know what's going on. Yeah. That's my favorite song. That song was released in 1987. I was still a little boy at that time. And just to let you know, I'm coming to you from Dovecot Memorial Park here in St. Catherine. This is where, frankly, Frankie Paul's resting place is. There are many famous people here, many famous Jamaicans who were buried here. And as we speak, there is a funeral happening right now because that's what it is. It's a cemetery. So my first favorite song, Frankie Paul song is I Know The Score. Uh, my second song favorite of his is his 1983 song worries in the dance i tell you when it come to that song the only thing i can tell you is that i know the chorus but i can't sing along with the verse because i haven't memorized it so it goes like worries in the dance worries tonight worries in the dance worries <laughs> yeah so I love Worries in the Dance. That's what my second favorite. And my third favorite Frankie Paul song is Casanova. Yes, Casanova. And I love the way how this song starts. It's something like, he would say like, Ow! 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 I'm no much Casanova. Something like we and me and Romeo are just friends. Can't be how much I love you, and I do it to you time and time again. <laughs> okay, I'll give you another favorite song of mine from Frankie Paul. The next one is Stuck on You. This song was released in 1996. And, of course, it's a cover because the song was first written, um, performed by Lionel Richie in 1983. So it's Stuck On You. And we all know that song. Stuck on you. I got this feeling down deep in my soul and I just can't lose. Guess I'm on my way. And the thing about it is it, I love the Lionel Richie version and I love the reggae version that Frankie Paul gave us. All right, so 
Frankie Paul was born Paul Blake in 1965 to mother Grace Kerr. And of course, his father, Frankie Paul's father, died when he was still a little boy. So he never had much time with his father. But his mom, Grace Kerr, you know, was around. Frankie Paul was born blind. Many of us already know that he was born blind. And an operation was done on his eyes. And he was then able to partially see. Look at this grave. This is the grave of a young man. It says, in loving memory of Kemar Simith. 1981 to 2017. 1981 to 2017, still a young man. So, as I was saying, he was born blind, but a, a surgery was done. Uh, um, it was done on a ship, a U.S. ship. And he, he, he gains partial sight he was able to partially see anyway um frankie paul he he attended um a salvation army school for the blind mm -hmm. in kingston and i'm gonna tell you a little story in 1975 Stevie Wonder, and we all know that Stevie Wonder is either completely blind or partially blind. I bet on. So in 1975, Stevie Wonder came to Jamaica and he visited the school for the blind, operated by the Salvation Army. And you know, the children, you know, they entertained him. And Frankie Paul was one of the students who entertained Stevie Wonder with a song. With a song. And Stevie Wonder urged Frankie Paul, when he heard Frankie Paul's voice, he urged him to become, to, to start a career in music. And Frankie Paul did just that. Frankie Paul did just that because five years later, in 1980, at age 15, Frankie Paul, he released his first recording, a single called African Princess. And then three years later, that's in 1983, he had his first hit with this song called Worries in the Dance, his first hit. And pretty much that's where it all started off for Frankie Paul. After having that first hit, Worries in the Dance, which is a, one of my favorite songs, in 1983, things just keep going on better and better for him ever since. In, in number two, in 1994, hello Mr. Nelson, in 1994, Frankie Paul, he loved Jamaica, but in 1994, he, he went and lived in the Gambia. Now, the Gambia is a country in West Africa, and of course, their, their official language is English, so it was easy for Frankie Paul to fit in. So he went and lived in the Gambia. And then in about 2015, uh, while he was living in the Gambia, you know, he went and he performed here in Jamaica. He performed in other places, but he lived in Gambia, in the Gambia. Anyway, in 2015, his health was getting bad. And he decided to come back to Jamaica in 2016 in january 2016 he he developed an infection in one of his 
and the foot had to be amputated. I think it is his right foot. So that's January 2016, he had the amputation of his foot. And his, he was not in good health. He, was, he still performed, but not as the energetic, energetic Frankie Paul that you would know. And just the following year, 2017, he was hospitalized with liver problems. And he died at the University Hospital of the West Indies from liver complication. And so his funeral happened. And let me say before I show you his grave that Frankie Paul wanted to be buried here. It was his wish. Maybe that's the reason why he, he moved from, from the Gambia. Because it was his wish to be buried beside a beloved person. I don't remember the relationship with that person, whether it was a mother, father, whatever. But he wanted to be buried here at, at Dovecot Memorial Park. And his wish was granted. And... He was buried here in 2017. And this is his grave here at Dovecot Memorial Park. Of course, you don't see Frankie Paul on his grave. And... That happens, sometimes they put the name that the person is famously known for, but it's not here, it's just his, his, um, his formal name, Paul Blake. The name that Grace Kerr gave him when she gave birth to him in 1965. So here it says, Paul Blake... He is resting peacefully with Jesus in that beautiful home above. October 19, 1965 to May 18, 2017. And for those of you who would like to um, visit his grave, that's the number here. 2970. 81A. That's the number. You can check it out here at Dovecot Memorial Park. The grave here of Frankie Paul. This is where he said he wanted to be buried. Beside someone he he admired, he loved, but at the time that he died here, um, the section he wanted to be buried in was filled. So he was buried over on this section at Dovecot Memorial Park. So this is the grave of the man, Frankie Paul, who make it clear he's no Casanova. He had a wonderful journey despite his, his um, partial sight. That just goes to show many of us who can see very well that you can achieve what you wanted to achieve in life before you die. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in another interesting video like this.